Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that. Um, I mean, I agree with what you just said, but I, I also think that the cost of sustainable energy has mm-hmm. been drop it, dropping tremendously, and you're seeing um, a lot more uh, wind and solar, um, and uh, you know, pair that with a uh, with a battery, and you've got uh, you know continuous power from wind, wind and solar. Uh, that's actually very competitive, like, mm-hmm. it's so cost competitive. Um, and um, actually, one of the one of the nice things about say solar battery is you you don't need to run high power lines all over the place. You can have some you know localized uh, solar battery situation on your house or um, factory building, or it, it, it's you, you can kind of decentralize the power generation. It's okay. a, and and I think that's actually better for people to mm-hmm. have decentralized power generation. Um, and, uh, you know, also decentralized communications, um, like a lot of places, they skipped all the sort of phone landline stuff and went to cell phones. Yes. In fact, a lot of places, um, in the world have way better cell connectivity than, you know, Silicon Valley, which is bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the idea of underpopulation, what is your biggest concern about that? If there are not, you've said many times publicly that we need <clears throat> more people. We need more human beings. Yeah. What, what, what would happen if, you know, this is, this is not my perspective, but for the people who are there who do think, you know, who do have this sort of Malthusian worldview and they think that there's yeah. too many people and, and there aren't enough resources. Wrong, and he's been wrong for a very yeah, long, long time, time, but, yeah. you know, kind of like. Still comes back. Communism, just, it won't go yeah, away. Exactly. Um, <laughs> there we go again. So, so what, what's the greatest fear that? 